introduce principle number three from Yang Cheng Fu's Ten Principles, uh, Most Important Principles of Tai Chi Juan. Principle number three reads like this, Sung the Waste. Sung, the translation for, is relax. The waist is the commander of the whole body. If you can sung or relax the waist, then the two legs will have power and the lower part will be firm and stable. Substantial and insubstantial change, and this is based on the turning of the waist. It is said, quote, the source of the posture lies in the waist. If you cannot get power, seek the defect in the legs and waist. Another word for power would also be balance. So looking at uh, parts of this, it says that the substantial and insubstantial change, and that's based on the turning of the waist. Now, if you went through the yardstick drills, I sort of alluded to it there, but just as a quick reminder, if I've got a bow stance and I'm going to transition from one bow stance to the other, I have to separate, right? So we've got substantial and insubstantial from principle four. It's the turning of my waist that gets me from this leg to that leg, and I lead with this which also gives me enough momentum to bring this foot in and just let it swing out to here. Once I put the toes down, I'm gonna use that waist again to root the back foot and sit in my quad. Now, when it talks about if you can't get power, another translation of that is also if you don't have good balance. So by way of example there, <clears throat> If I'm doing a transition from bow stance to bow stance and sit back, do a twist step and move my center. Now, if I don't step out over the rails and step straight ahead and put my toes down and then use my center, my command, to root my back foot, I'm not as stable because I like to call this standing on a tight rope. If I was to bring my right foot straight back, and bring this around, well, that's not a good bow stance because I should be able to come back to a Wu Qi stance. So the second part of this um, principle has to do with how do I analyze my problem. If you're taking your stance too narrow, you're going to feel a loss of power because most of your power is yielding to the fact that you're uh, struggling with balance. So the power is invested in trying to get your balance. You need to have a stable base. If you don't have a strong base, then nothing else really matters. So that being said, um, as you go from both stance to both stance, especially in the uh, next drill that we're going to be looking at, which is brush knee push, be mindful. You always want to be standing and walking on railroad tracks. Use your waist to lead your movements, whether it's hand or foot.